Hi, my name is Dinus Mickle, and I'm making a very quick little video here with a question for why I can't access the Social Security Administration website with my broadband connection that's connected to my name and address, um, but I, so I can't with my broadband, but I uh, did a little check and then I tethered through my cell phone and I was able to get the information. Uh, and I was able to connect to the website. So I'm looking for how to get a social, social security number for my daughter. Search on that, Googling's working fine. You know, social security numbers for children, I opened a bunch of links. Those links all said fail, you know, uh, can't find, find server, fail to open page, right? Can't find server, can't find server. I'm thinking, well, all right, as this guy, I'm going to reload this, and it's going to say that it can't find it. It gets, it gets caught. It's a little blue area here. It gets caught. And then it's going to say that it can't find it. There. Can't find server. Now, this is what uh, kind of made me post this video. I uh, searched on isitdownrightnow.com. And it says ssa.gov is up and reachable. The website is probably down just for you. Okay, the website is probably down just for you. For me, why? Why? I mean, there was a Dallas shooting recently. I searched on the name of the guy who apparently was falsely uh, accused of being a suspect. And then a whole bunch of people threatened his life. Um, and then I found out the name of the real shooter and my, my computer started acting really strangely. Um, anyway, as I, I'm going to do a, uh, speed test here of my broadband. So, so basically in that, that, that speed test is going to come in. Um, so all this is failing to open. I found ssa.gov is up and reachable and the website is probably down just for you just for me I have the special privilege <laughs> of not being able to ac access the Social Security Administration's information um, download speed 28 that's pretty bad it was just much higher how's that so low so I'm, I pay for 70 I'm gonna reload that um, that's not as critical as what I'm going to show you now, though. I'm just showing you that I have a decent connection. I'm going to flip through all these. Uh, there we go. There's my regular download speed. There must have been something with me switching. So my regular download speed is around 75 uh, megabits per second. I'm going to cut, cut out that test. Well, I'll leave it. Um, OK. Website is probably down just for me. I'll reload that. It's checking. And then we're going to do, yeah, it's probably down just for me. Check this out. Check this out. There's my speed test. 75.3. 3 is not that great. But anyway, look at me switch to my cell phone. Now I'm switching to my cell phone. My cell phone does not have my name. Uh, I did not register it. It's not a contract cell phone. It's an open cell phone with, here, here come all, here come, here's all the SSA information. PDF file, when do I get my child's social security number, service around the world, forms, International Office of International Operations, twice, when do I get it? And the speed test is going to be, if I test again, the speed test is going to be, you know, really, really, really bad because this is just through my cell phone. Again, test. But anyway, there you have it. Um, it's going to show the speed test. And I guess for me, yeah, look, it's not even getting like one megabit per second. Okay. So my question is, what does it mean? I mean, I can download everything I need if I sort of jump through some hoops. Um, but am I blocked because I searched on the news? Like because I searched on a, a shooter's name? Am I 
blocked because I live in Austria. I don't think that's correct because my cell phone is in Austria. Am I blocked because of my name and address? Am I on some kind of a check? Am I on some kind of a list? And if I am on some kind of list, why would I be on that list? And why would SSA.gov be blocked for me? So maybe it's just some technical glitch that's got nothing to do with anything, nothing to do with my search history, nothing to do with my name and address, nothing to do with, you know, some kind of, some kind of security check. That would really be something. <coughs> Anyway, um, I might post this on YouTube because maybe somebody can give me some better ideas as to why it would be blocked or why it would not be blocked. And you know what? I'll send this in as a technical support request to the Social Security Administration um, web administrators just to let them know that I've been blocked and maybe they can give me a better explanation. You know, maybe one that's soothing and doesn't have James Bond music sort of going on in, in, in the background. That would be really that would really be nice if this were sort of an innocent technical glitch. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>